Hello guys! Today I am doing a prompt video, but it's not any ordinary prompt video, okay? No, no. This is a collab with ALLJ Art. We decided to compile a bunch of fall slash Halloween themed prompts, select two of them randomly, and then both draw our own interpretation of those prompts without knowing what the other one is doing. So I'm really curious to see uh, what she came up with this. The two prompt words we got were hot drink and trick-or-treaters. My immediate thought was, first of all, I love hot drinks. I do <laughs> drink one hot drink at least every day. And so that was like, okay, that's me, basically. <laughs> and trick-or-treaters, well, that's pretty straightforward. They're trick-or-treaters. This just brought me back to my childhood experiences with Halloween. Or maybe I should say my lack of experiences with Halloween because we never really celebrated it. And by really, I mean we didn't. I grew up in a pretty strange family in many, many ways. But one of those strange little quirks we had was just that we didn't really celebrate Halloween. In fact, you'd be hard pressed to find a holiday we really celebrate at all. The only one I can really think of is Thanksgiving, occasionally. <laughs> we were pretty spotty with it. Um, if birthdays count, we, we did celebrate those, so at least we had that. <laughs> but yeah, Halloween not really on the list, so I thought it would be interesting for me to talk about my experiences with that, especially since that's kind of what I drew or what I was trying to draw. As you can see here, it's basically a girl peeking out of the window looking as these trick-or-treaters come over to her dark house. I kind of wish I had changed some things to be honest about this drawing. Not only did we not dress up as trick-or-treaters, we also didn't really hand out anything. And you know what? I think if the neighborhood kids knew my mom, they would be they would be relieved <laughs> because my mom is the kind of person who would be handing out um, pieces of broccoli or sunflower seed. You no, know, you would not you would not get candy from her. Um, so yeah, they weren't really missing out on much. But like I said, we didn't really hand out anything. So in order to avoid the awkward experience of trick or treaters knocking on your door and you either not answering because you have literally nothing for them or you answering to tell them, um, we don't have candy for you, sorry. Um, so in order to avoid that awkward dilemma, we simply pretended we were not home. We just turned off all our lights, shut the curtains, and um, hid away in the darkness and waited for uh, Halloween to pass by. And we would go um, hunting around the house for all our various candles, light them all one by one, and watch the room fill with a yellow glow of fall and it was beautiful and then we would go on with our merry little lives and cook up a little bit of a of a feast and literally have a candlelit dinner i don't know how to describe this it's weirdly magical like it's you and your family sitting around this table in the dark with with candles all around you casting this magical yellow glow all around and the world is outside you know doing their thing completely oblivious to the fact that you and your family are doing this. It feels like you're in on a weird little secret. And it's just, it makes you feel closer to your family, I guess. I don't know. It's 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> um, I don't know. It was just like, it felt almost like a celebration in a weird little way. But that wasn't the best part. Oh no, that was not the best part. The best part, okay, the second best part was um, spying at the kids walking by our house, all those, you know, trick-or-treaters. Um, Perhaps the use of the word spying makes it sound a little, you know, creepy. But really all it was was me, you know, looking at the various costumes all the kids had chosen. I loved dressing up as a kid. I basically walked around the house, usually an adventurer. So I, I was really fascinated by all the different costumes. We weren't supposed to be peeking out of the curtains because, again, we're trying to keep up the illusion here that uh, we are not home. Um, but... And, you know, you have to do it. It's just, it's just, it's just tradition. And, I mean, half of the fun of not celebrating Halloween is the fact that you get to watch all the trick-or-treaters go by. Um, we tried to be as sneaky about it as possible, <laughs> which was also extremely fun. Maybe made it a little more creepy, but it's, it's not like we were staring at them, right? But one of the funnest things about Halloween and one of my fondest memories was just the games we would play in the dark. I don't know what it is, but there's something about playing games in in a dark house that's just so so satisfying so perfect so wonderful because there's you know parts of games that you know they just need to be played at nighttime or something but you're in bed um so you can't but halloween is the one night 
in our house where it's completely black and dark and it's gonna stay that way for the entire evening. And one of those games I remember playing is pretending to be a jungle cat and pouncing on each other and hunting each other down. Apparently that was really fun to me. We played this one year. I remember after that year I kept on begging my older brother over and over, can we please play that game? Can we please? And he wasn't really interested in playing it, but um, I did convince my little sister to play that game with me. Like in a weird sort of way, Halloween became my favorite time of year. Even though I got no candy from it, um, I didn't get to dress up in a costume, though I did that all the time, so. <laughs> and I never remember thinking to myself, oh, I wish I, I wish I could go and actually celebrate Halloween. Like I said, I, Halloween almost became my favorite time of the year because we had our own little weird accidental celebration going on at the same time, and that was just like so much greater in my opinion. But you know what, maybe it was the fact that around the age you are typically a trick-or-treater, I was extremely quiet and shy. Like, I didn't talk to anyone. Like, I hardly even talked to my friends. Basically, the only people I would talk to were my siblings and my parents. And so the thought of, like, going to a stranger's house and knocking on their door and asking for, like, anything, that thought would have just terrified me. I did not want anything to do with that still don't really like the thought of knocking on strangers' doors and asking for things. I just rather not. <laughs> Let me know, what are your favorite childhood experiences of Halloween? Regardless of whether you celebrated it or not. But enough about that, let's talk about the art because this was quite a new experience for me. Not only was I drawing a bunch of people, which is not something that I do very much, I was also drawing a whole scene with a building, a background, you know, all of those, those elements that I usually don't include in my illustrative drawings. And you know what, now that I think about it, I kind of wish I had the trick-or-treaters, you know, walking past her house, like, you know, thinking, oh, you know, they're gone. Because that's kind of the whole point of my whole experience. It just looks a little weird to me. I'm not sure if that's just me thinking out know, my usual perfectionistic self, but um, it kind of bothers me a little bit. It's not like I dislike it. I just feel like it, it, used, it could have used a lot more um, work and I just didn't really have time to do that. A lot of it is the fact that I'm quite new to this stuff. I feel like a newbie all over again, guys. I don't, I don't really know. Like, part of me doesn't even know what I think about this, really. I'm just like, oh yeah, that's, um, that's a picture I drew. I actually worked on this, like the final details and everything, well, a little bit off camera. Um, basically just added some color pencil on it. I also, on top of, you know, adding some color pencil, I also decided to splash a bunch of orange ink all over it by accident. Um, so that was fun. It also got horribly crinkled at the bottom. I literally, I don't know how that happened. So yeah, this was just a, this was just a sad experience. Um, I probably learned a lot from it. It's hard to say though. I got plenty of illustration that's kind of like this. All the same, you know, it was really fun doing this. You know, I, I kind of like the whole, you know, taking a couple prompts and, you know, drawing a scene based off of them. And it, like I said, it just totally brought back to my childhood days um, and all the fun times. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out ALLJ Art's um, take on these two prompts. I'll have her video linked below. Um, and don't forget to tell me what your favorite Halloween experience was. I will see you all later. Bye!